the style of house has changed. See? This is the north side. Oh, this is the north side? Yeah, we're on the north side. Now this area over here is kind of interesting. So about 30 years ago, a lot of gay, um, well, actually, I, some gay friends of mine, but I had heard about this rumor that a lot of gay people were buying homes mm -hmm. over here. And their thought was that, you know, the first of all, the homes were really affordable over here on the north side. Mm -hmm. And their other thought was, let's, you know, make a community. Yeah. So right over that direction, a lot of these blocks, um, it's all, it's gay and lesbian families, tons of them bought, mm -hmm. decided to buy into this community. Yeah. Oh, wow. Dean has a bunch of friends that live over there too, Daddy. Yeah. What a, um, one of the things, because of, of being like when you were in uh, Chicago, uh -huh. but, but how old were you up until you left Chicago? Uh, 12, almost 13. My mom so, my mom moved me here to keep me out the gangs. They yeah. was recruiting my ass. What, what, was, uh, what, was, what was it like in Chicago? Uh, real urban. Yeah. Real urban. And uh, we lived in an apartment over on Congress, 48th and Congress. Used to do. Uh, well, I walked many, many, many blocks to school and shit. So, you know, <laughs> a lot of walking, a lot of walking, a lot of, you know, and then when we had the riots there, I, you know, all the kids was going through the burning buildings that had burnt down. You know, it was kind of fun to go through that, uh -huh. so, even though you seen the ship was burnt up. But you, you still go through it anyway. Huh? Yeah, we would still go through it anyway. Tell them um, about when King was assassinated. Uh, that was sad too, yeah. I was about was I can't remember was I with my great grandfather then from when they got happened. No, uh, -uh. for when when Kennedy was assassinated. That was with him when Kennedy was assassinated. No, I remember my stepdad got so. Uh, I was at home with my mom and stepdad, and I remember my stepdad just, you know, he was so upset he just got up and left. Really? When they announced it on TV, yeah. But but when King was assassinated, shortly thereafter was when you moved to Minneapolis. Yeah. That was the so so did King's assassination and then suing riots play uh, a part in your family's It might have. It, I'm sure it probably me. did, probably with my mom, but you know, she was, you know, she had been working at the post office about 13, 14 years by then, so, you know, she found, made him transfer her here, and because she wanted a better life, you know, she what, wanted a little better. What were the gangs in Chicago? What were Vice they? Lords. So, what, well, how would they, act, how would they recruit you? Like, how were they? Well, acting? when you become in school, they'd be, you know, they, they, they get you at school. They get you at school, and they get you on the way home from school, like, hey, come here, talk, come here we need to talk to you. That kind of shit, and you know, you know who they are. You knew who they are because yeah. they, you know, they, they look like some rough, like like Trump say some bad hombres. Them were some bad hombres. <laughs> yeah. They will kill your ass. <laughs> you know, and we're talking about teenagers here. We're talking about you know, older than 15, 16 year old teenagers. Did you ever you ever have to get in any fights or anything? No, I I got lucky with that, but that's the that's what my mom was afraid of because that was, time was coming. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you weren't a small kid, right? No, nah, and that's the thing. I look older than what I was. Yeah, you know, I was tall. Yeah. I was 13, but I was, you know, I was damn near six feet, like but, like Georgia. Did know? they uh, go after Dwayne too? They could have been. Dwayne never said nothing. You know, well, you got to remember, Dwayne was two years younger than me. So at this point, so you guys like lived in an apartment building. Yeah. in Chicago. Yeah. And where was Madea at? I don't know where Madea. She was in Chicago, but I can't remember where she was living at. You did know? you see her every day? I didn't see her every day then. No, uh -uh. you know, she moved. She moved to Minnesota not long after we did. I thought you guys uh, kind of all moved together, didn't you? Uh, I think she was a little bit after us, you know, because she had she got a divorce from her husband. Because her husband was beating her up, you know, and she had to get away from his punk ass. So at twelve years old, you were already kind of. I was around a lot of shit that yeah. I probably shouldn't have been around. Um, I, I yeah, Jeff, yes, I was. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I mean, I mean, were you like, like this is it, like you're lifestyle or? I was getting used to it you uh, know I was just a weird life I was at that point I was kind of in survival mode anyway yeah was a lot of kids were getting killed you know wow. on the streets yeah the Chicago streets was rough man were you, you, you lose any friends or anything I had a few friends but you know I didn't really hang out that much and which is probably good for me because yeah. if I had been hanging out I, I definitely would have been dead you know because wow. I would you know I've been hanging out at all the wrong places were you already playing instruments when you were in Chicago I didn't really start playing instruments until I got here you didn't even on the drums and Not stuff? Not even the drums, yeah, because like I told, really? like I always tell the story, my mom didn't buy me a drum set, you know, that I couldn't tear up until I was 13, you know. She, with like 11, 12, she bought drum sets, but they were tore up Christmas night. 
a little paper shit, you know. But that that didn't she didn't start buying that for you till you got here. Until I got here. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. she really B sharp music out there on Central. Oh really? Yeah. So when you came in sixty eight, it was after Martin Luther King was assassinated, yeah. which would have been April fourth of sixty eight. Yeah. Was we moved here by September of sixty eight, I would Oh, so were you here over the summer? Because in the summer of sixty eight there were no, riots. We was in not here. We were in Chicago. Side. So and you were still was, here during when the riots on the north side occurred. You guys were, we're still here. in Chicago. Yeah, you yeah, were here. Or you yeah. weren't. No, we weren't here yet. Okay. We moved here that fall, but so, yeah, the so, riots had, had happened here, though. They. So know. by the fall of '68, you were in school. Here. Here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there was riots here too. Yeah. He had problems 68. here, especially down on Plymouth Avenue. They burned really? down. They burned up a lot of shit that was on Plymouth Avenue. Now Plymouth, when you were a kid, Plymouth Avenue up here. That it was all stores and stuff. It right? was stores, yeah, all kind and of it, shit. It Drug a, store, it all was kind a, of shit. They were what Jewish owned by. Yeah, Jewish I think people? so. There's the mural right there. Yeah, here's the mural. Look, you guys. Oh, here's the mural. Yeah. Yeah. There was a little bottle of Hennessy over the, sitting over there really? in the background. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> see it on some of the pictures. Yeah. Now, when did he paint that there? Uh, well, it's pretty recent because. When we took the photos, he was working on it. Even he, then. Was he was working, still working on it. On it. Yeah, he was still working on it. Was, yeah, so he was. He was out finishing there that it up. Day. Yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? Since I'm right over here, I'll show. Take him where over by North Commons. Yeah. This is your neighborhood? Kinda. It's a, it's a little far away oh, from my okay. neighborhood. I used to Morris used to live down here. I used to walk down here and uh, play drums at his house. Oh, Morris did. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll show you where Morris. Morris lived, lived right across the street so from this, this park. This um, this is North Commons Park. Yeah. And that's where they had their, like, tell them about the Battle of the Bands. Yeah, we used to have a, a big festival there every year, the Battle of the Bands. And, you know, we'd be out there flight time, oh, Prince really? of Grand Central, yeah. And all the Northside Bands, the family, yeah, uh -huh. we would all be out. would be thousands of people in this park. In this park right here? Yep. Yeah. And uh, we, they set up a big stage and we play and there wasn't no problems, you know. We played till, you know, late at night and the police wasn't really meant. They knew we was going to do it that one day. Yeah. What side oh, of yeah. the park was, what side of the park would it have been on? I have no do idea. Remember? I have no idea. Because the water park wouldn't have been there. The water then, park right? was not there, no. So what was the first year that you remember playing in the bands? It had to be 70, what, 70, uh, wow, 72, 73, somewhere. Really? Yeah. Wow. We were you're, shorties. You we were playing when I was born. We were 15, 16 years old. Good yeah. Lord. Yeah. We were 15, 16 year olds. So, so at that age, they were setting up a big stage. They were setting a big stage because we, you know, our music scene was still even cool then. You know, we still wow. had a lot of little local bands that were good. Yeah. That could play. So yeah. now that was like flight time and flight time, Grand Central, the family, uh, prophets of peace, uh, just all kind of shit, man. And I came in. You know, we were talking about Andrea Swenson's book. She talks about in there. Yeah. See, the black bands, there was no place for them to play. Yeah. No, because they, we couldn't they play, couldn't at the play white in clubs. any of the clubs. Yeah, we could. So they did. Yeah. This is where they yeah, would play. Like this. But you know, but even so, you play a club, you're limited to. Play out here, you had probably way more people than they had at the clubs. Not yeah, that yeah, exactly. Game, but I'm exactly. Right. Yeah, because we, cause, yeah, because we got a, when we were like 16, 17 years old, we got a resident at a club here, the Flame Bar, but. You Did know, you really? Yeah, Is that but, North High? In no way, it could be some. I can't yeah. Remember. Yeah, that's oh, North. Yeah, that's North High School. Yeah. yeah. And Morris went to school there, right? right. Yeah, Jerome did too, and Terry did too. Jerome and Terry went there too. Yeah. They, they, so here's where they had the the, the music scene. Was, the music uh, was better here at this high school, right? Well, a lot of the, the, the musicians went to that high school. Yeah. 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 Where did Jerome and Terry live? Remember uh, Jerome and Terry lived over on Penn Avenue, Smokey, uh, Penn. down there by Olson Highway. Oh, they were really? a block away, block a block mm -hmm. away, block or two blocks away from Olson Highway on Penn Avenue. Yeah. Do you remember the house? I don't remember the house. I don't remember, but I we used to rehearse in there too, sometime. I've never seen their place. Yeah, I, it might be gone. It's like Morris's house is gone up here. It's probably it's gone, gone, really? Well, yeah. so Morris's house here, we're almost there. This is so this whole thing, you know, this is all North Commons. Yeah. The water park wouldn't have been there in the, in this late 60s and early 70s. No, that no. was probably built more what, in the 80s? Uh, the 80s and 90s, maybe. Yeah. Um, but down here is where Morris. Morris's house was the set. Y, yeah, the y, his house yeah, is where so the YMC is. Right here, is. where the uh, Y is, is where Morris's house was. Oh, really? And, and his, Morris's brother told me they sold their house to the YMCA. 
Yeah. Really? Wow. So that they, that was built on the property right after they. Yeah. So this was Morris's so this house. This is where Morris's house. Yeah, Morris this house was in this block. Gold Valley Road. Yeah, all these little houses you see. That's this was a whole row of houses. Oh, so yeah. here's here's that where Jelly Bean used to walk. Okay, that was From Morris's here? house. Yeah. He used to carry his drum set. Yeah. Watch. We'll go. <laughs> we'll go. How far he used to carry his drums. Did you walk up Golden Valley Road? I'm, I'm almost sure I did. I, I cut over a little bit quick, but I, and most of it. You walked walk. like that with your drum keys, too. Have it on your back like those guys used to play the thing with the walking. Like, I was too dumb to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and what it did, plays the drum it, as you walk. What did you do? <laughs> carry them in your arms? I just carried them in my arms, wow. and I, and not all of them. So, you know, I have to make two or three trips, you know, oh. to get them. I was going to say, that's at least a three trip. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I used to, but, you, didn't you know, you're a wagon? kid. No, I didn't have no wagon in there. But you know, I was a thirteen-year-old kid. You know, so, so look, it's farther, you guys. This is we're still going. Okay, <laughs> he's walking. He's carrying his drums. That's that's dedication to, to the uh, instrument. We're still going. Yeah, it is because a lot of people wouldn't do that. They just you know, hey man, I'm just gonna bring my snare, and my kick. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he had a drum set in the living room, but you know, and we wanted to play together. So that's wow, a, we're still going. Look, Jeez. <laughs> I would have heard. Still going. Around. You know what, though? Morris would have never done that in reverse. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> Morris wouldn't have done that. You did it. I did. He wouldn't have done that shit. <laughs> Hell no. Okay, wait a minute. I don't want to miss your street. Look at He's still walking. Picture him. He's still walking with his drum set. All this way, you guys. Man, no wonder you stay in such great shape. <laughs> Just stupid, just stupid as hell. Like it, he's still and up walking. A hill? Yeah, yeah. And up to both ways. Yeah. Yeah, in the snow? In the snow, barefoot. <laughs> barefoot. No. Like he's still walking. No, it's mostly in the summertime. Is it this one? Yeah, this here, Vincent. Take it out. Look, he's walking this whole way. Good lord. It's still farther. Wait. <laughs> he's still hiking his drum set up here. Now, I can see with the guitar, you know, here in your <laughs> I can see any other instrument, I would say, yeah, all right. But the, the drummer... And and he, he never told me he made two to three trips. Yeah. You never told and me see, that. Here's something that people got to realize and understand is that the dedication to something like that. Because drummers yeah. don't even show up to the practice with their equipment Sometimes, in their car. You're right. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> they don't. Yeah. I had a drummer show up to a gig without his kit. Yeah, some stupid shit. He just shit. said, I'm, I ain't bringing it, man. You got to find me one. I said, well, then you ain't playing. Exactly. <laughs> the next spot? Yeah, the next spot's where. Look at it. All spot. this way. Yeah. Oh, mean. What the hell, man? Not stupid. Hey, this, where's my house? Is it right here? 1506, um, yeah. Yeah, right there. This one right here? 1506. That's, that's where I grew up out, yeah. Does it still look like it did? It, it looks totally different. Though. Really? Yeah, it looks totally different. We don't, he doesn't remember that porch being on. No. They probably added that on. Yeah. This has to be on the tour, man. How come this isn't on the tour, the Prince tour? You know, that's that's weird that they don't put other people's home. Right? Yeah. Isn't that? Isn't it? It's really kept it kept up well. Kept I up, think yeah. it's really nice. They updated it. Well, so shit. did you? Uh, out of curiosity, did you have a basement here and all that? Yeah, we had a basement. Yeah. That's why I played the drums at down the basement. Uh, that's what I was gonna say. That they yeah. put you in. Yeah, Minnesota, mine. everybody has a basement. Basement. Yeah, we had a big. That's a big and, ass basement in the house. And yeah. so with him. You so was this would your mom be at work? Otherwise, She'd be at work, did, yeah. did you guys own a car when you were kids? Yeah, she had she owned one. Yeah. She had a car, so yeah. she'd be at work, be at work and you'd yeah. just be toting your drum set. Yeah. Wow. Making two to three trips back and forth to Morris's house. Yeah. yeah. Where's David Island's house? David uh, you gotta go up here to Plymouth and I'll show you. Go up here to Plymouth and take a left. And he's right he sat he grew up in the house on the corner. His dad was the vice president of Pillsbury. Do you remember, would you know Terry in Jerome's house if we saw it? No, not, no. That's but so it was on Penn ago. and what? So it was also off of Penn and I can't remember what the street was. David's right over here, right? Yeah, David's that house right there. Okay. So Plymouth Avenue, this was, there were, there were businesses. The bus, we, everybody caught the bus and shit from here. Okay. Yeah. And there were businesses yeah. This is the bus line, yeah. Yeah, this is the bus line. Is that David's? This is David's house here. Yeah. Right here That's corner. where he grew up here, yeah. And David's That's dad. One, hey, baby, was, this is the one way. This is the one way. Oh, 
David's dad was basically the one who was um, responsible yeah. for flight time. They're doing something for really? that house there, too. Really? Yeah, tell them about David's dad and flight time. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. he, he, he spent, I mean, he took us to Memphis to the convention one time. So, really? Yeah, I mean, we were like 15, 16 years old. He was kind old. of your road manager, wasn't he? Well, he just, he believed in us. And then you got to realize David was advanced at an early age, too. Dad, David was really, you know, could really play at 15, 16 years old, too. You know, it, but that's, I think that's something that in every story you hear of people that are young like you guys were, yeah. somebody sees the potential in you guys and will put in the effort right. either to let you practice at their home yeah. or right. to drive you guys where you need to go or something, yeah. you know. It's when people don't support their kids like that, you know, yeah. even if it's a friend, a friend's dad or mom or something. No, Andre Simone's house was, uh, you turned the corner here, Spooky. Now, did you ever go to Andre's? I think once in a blue moon, I might have once or twice. I can't. Oh, remember. it's right here. Yeah, it's right yeah. down here. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what right. Prince grew up with. Then you know, it's Prince State there. Yeah, that one right there. Yeah. That yeah. This one, right? Yep, that's yeah. it. Oh my God. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's what Prince Andre saw. So, so now you guys all just live right around each other. Yeah, we were all neighborhood, like, man. Yeah, that's we're all that's neighborhood. Thing, man. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. That, uh, you want to take a picture? Get on tape? Yeah, just absolutely. Take a picture. He hasn't seen it yet. Oh, he hasn't? Yeah, that's He's Andre's a big Andre fan. Childhood, yeah. yeah. Childhood. That house. really, that house really, it's really been maintained I'll take well. A picture of you over yeah. Did the, when did the family sell it? I don't know. I just look at it. I don't know when, <laughs> what, when what you know, because uh, his mom died. <laughs> I would say his mom died in the early 2000s or really? something like that. Maybe now in she, the mines. She's but she was like all of our moms. Sister's yeah. still living, right? Yeah, sister's, yeah. but he got two sisters that's still living. Yeah. I'll snap a picture of her. Yeah. So she was in Grand Central too at one point. Right? Uh, Linda, Linda, yeah. I, I was in the drum corps with her. At, oh, really? So, yeah. Wow. Me and her was in the drum thing together. <laughs> How about this one? Do you it had to be that? here because I just bought it. It might have been that, Smokey. Is that Oak Park? Yeah. It started, basically. Mm hmm. See, I thought, Smokey, you're talking about 30 years ago. Yeah, no, man. more than 30. We're more than 30. We were kids. Okay. You know, we're old as hell now. Here, right? Do you remember that house? <laughs> I know, right? It's cool. I don't remember that one either. That was the Logan Avenue house. Oh, that's Logan, okay. Yeah, this is 2628th Avenue yeah, North. Yeah, that's the one I was playing in. That's okay, let's I go know. find that one. Like I said, but... but Andre's mom then supported you guys a lot. But a lot, yeah. She was like all of our mothers, yeah. man. She was like mother hen. She really was. See, she was almost, cool as hell. It all went down. I'm, I'm still tripping. Yeah. Mom, it's, wow. The thing, like like I said, these are the things that when I picture a good movie, it's about them when they were kids, before all this stuff. All the, when they were like, him carrying his drums, that would be part of the story. Oh, like, well, it has, it's a know, half a mile away. Smokey. <sighs> Starting route to 6208 Oh, God. I'm sorry, y'all. She's it's something else. Well, you know, it's this, a half this a mile. Doing too, so. It's a half a mile away. Oh, yeah. yeah. So no, you sometimes went to Andre's <laughs> house, right? Yeah, once in a while. That's what I said. I got the story in my film. And that's what oh, yeah. boys yeah. had joined the band. No, it wasn't big. Nah, yeah. Did Grand Central practice there? They practiced at Andre's house, yeah. Yeah. Now, now... I know it was a long time ago, but I'm looking at this neighborhood and it looks pretty quiet, pretty peaceful. There's no, bro. No? There'd be a lot, of, lot of drama goes on over here. Don't let it fool you. Because it, it, always, it always seemed like that to me, like when you think about the houses in comparison to where God like me are from. So I'm, I would always wonder, was there that type of drama? In uh, you, it's nothing to hear gunfire and shit over here every night. You know, really? you know, Paul Peterson's niece and nephew lives over here. Oh, wow. they do? And they be sitting in their living room and they, sometimes they have to hit the deck. Really? Yeah, they say like hear like ten rounds go off like that. That's like these motherfuckers is ignorant. This is why I moved out from over here, y'all. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. This is why I, I, my mom moved me to fuck I, out from listen, over here. Listen, okay, I know, but I don't think right in this immediate neighborhood it's like that, Daddy. It doesn't matter. This is me. really this is a nice neighborhood. It, it, yeah, you don't, don't let it fool you. I know it's. <laughs> I, I, don't let it fool you. I, this now, is, this is a nice neighborhood. Was that the first place you moved into right there? When you guys moved over? Uh-uh, no, uh, we moved there later. That she, her, my mom bought that house, and her, her and my stepdad bought that later. Uh -huh. Cause we were in the, we were in an apartment over in 1012 Morgan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I've never been by your apartment yeah. building. There's 1012 Morgan, that's where we lived at. Okay, we'll drive by there on the way back. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost to Prince's house. At the stop sign, turn right onto 8th Avenue North, then the Somebody destination is on your right. <laughs> Somebody down left right there. Is this it, Teddy? It looks familiar. Right here, look. Yeah, yeah. This is it. So yeah. 
This is Prince's. This is, this is Prince's, Prince's house. dad's house. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, because we used to play in this driveway, play basketball right there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right there. We used to shoot in that. The destination right is on your right. That's awesome. To yeah. 6208 yeah. Avenue North. Yeah. So, I thought Prince's mom lived there. No, they, I think they had a different house because I've been by that one, I think. Yeah. And that's before so, Prince switched homes, right? Before he went back and forth. <laughs> yeah, so this, like, and how was his dad at the time? Uh, he, cool. was, he was cool. So he did cool. you know Prince's younger. dad better or Prince's mom better? Probably his dad, because you know his dad used to come to the family rehearsals and shit. You really? Know? Oh wow. Yeah. But you you had met you knew both his parents. I knew both his parents, but I, you know I hadn't met his mom that much. I had been around his dad a lot more than his mom. Yeah. And you know Prince used to you know dad, Prince's dad used to hang out with him. You know? See that's yeah. something. You, well, maybe people know that now. I haven't heard that. I, I, I've yeah. always heard stories. Like yeah. when I used to see interviews with young guy, I would like myself. Oh, yeah. Dad was okay. Yeah. See, I'm wondering if, um, God, this is really, I love those front steps. They're so vintage. Look at that. Look at that brick on that. Isn't that nice? Yeah. So what year would that have been? Well, mm -hmm. it's the 70s. Yeah. Early 70s. Oh, yeah, it had to be the 70s, yeah. So you think Prince's mom and dad didn't live there, just Prince's dad? I think just Prince's dad. They might have split up by then. And so would you walk over right. here just to play basketball? Yeah, Smokey, I was all over the north side. <laughs> I would walk to Terry and Jerome's house, too. Yeah. That's my Terry and Jerome's house. We can't. I don't remember where it was. So it's, let's go. Come on now. You want some bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to tell you. Smokey, all you got to do is go down to Plymouth. Starting route mm. to 101 go to Plymouth, Morgan, take a right, go all it's the way. It's only half a mile away. Yeah, just go to Plymouth. and yeah. I know a shortcut. Oh, there we go. Do y'all feel my pain? Oh yeah. Ah damn. And just white girl just just yes. in the hood. Thinking it's safe and shit. Yeah, you know? right? Walking in the dog. hood, thinking it's safe. Don't get shot. Dog, yeah. I have no fear. You know, yeah, I know you don't, and that's the problem. Hey, uh being um Tracy said he was really impressed last night with this with the album. Uh-huh. The way the show went. He said like that's the way things should be done. He was Yeah. Really? Yeah, he, he texted me and said that pretty yeah. much the same thing to me. Organized. Yeah. Well, that's that's you and Marty. You know, <laughs> you and Marty, y'all got the shit together. This is true. <laughs> well, Tracy, um, Tracy doesn't like drama. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's like me. He fucked the drama, man. Yeah, he's a very one, calm, one drama. yeah. You know, you know guy. life is hard enough. Tracy you don't need like, extra. Doesn't like drama. Doesn't like drama. Yeah. 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 He, you, Tracy's just not that guy. No. At the stop sign, turn left onto Penn Avenue North. Now, where was Uncle Sterling at? In Sterling was on Penn there, yeah, right by, uh, yeah. Remember, you used to see his car sitting outside I know, there in I front of his house. It I can't remember. It's look. down that way quite yeah. a ways, Because Lincoln, Lincoln Junior High used to be right across, damn near down the street from him. Right. Now, is Lincoln gone? I think it's is gone. Is the building gone? Yeah, I think the building's gone. I heard some. I heard in an interview somewhere, I forgot who said it, that uh, some guys would go, like, you listen to their bands without them knowing, like, run up to the basement and, and listen through the window or something. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, we used to yeah. do that. You can hear, it, it, I, 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 I've i been well, guilty of some of that. Yeah. What's this, Daddy? <laughs> oh, this might be Lincoln here. That was Lincoln. Okay, so then this that's Sterling's house right there. Right here. Which one's Sterling? Right here on the corner here. Yeah. Oh. Sterling's okay. house right there. That's Jelly Bean's um, My, uh, step, Uncle Sterling. Step, step uncle. uncle. Yeah, oh, right. he, just, yeah. he just passed away. He just away. passed oh, away. He just passed away. Too. Yeah, yeah and that, that Jelly Bean's nephew, Corey, that lives in uh, Las Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. 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 And the ironic thing was, Uncle Sterling and Jelly Bean both drove gold PT cruisers. What are the odds of that? Two in the same family, we didn't know it. And didn't know it? We That's saw crazy. Sterling, we'd always see a gold PT cruiser and we are like, look at, there's your car, it was his uncle's. <laughs> what are the odds of that, That's you guys? Crazy. Mm -hmm. That's family size. Yeah, yeah no yeah. kidding though. That's <laughs> oh, so yeah, that's Lincoln. Though. That's like the yeah, we used to play football. What is that beautiful building right there? That I looks don't like know. a that's temple. a church, some kind of church. Cause John wow. Hay used to be right there. John Hay Elementary. Yeah, it was right here, and we used to play football, touch football out here in really? this park. Yeah, I remember Tony Dungy throwing the Tony football. Lines, right but, Tony Dungy, Tony Dungy, the, the uh, coach, the legendary coach. Yeah. He played for the Gophers. Really? That's where he came from. Yeah. So you went to Lincoln briefly? Yeah, I went to Lincoln to seventh through ninth grade. Oh, you went there three. Oh, so you went here three years? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize you've been seven, there that long. Seventh through eighth, Smokey. Oh. 
So you'd walk to school? I'd walk to school from Benson here. From Benson. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That explains why your foot is okay. <laughs> yeah, no, you've got one hell of a foot. He's man. walking all over the place. <laughs> Did you ever ride bike? Not too much. I was just scared somebody might take it from you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hood you are hood rats. That's the other thing, man. You're carrying those drums, nobody ever tried to jack you or nothing? Not, not too much. I got lucky that way, man. It hadn't quite turned. It was bad, but it hadn't quite turned as bad as it was going to oh, get. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, you guys. Here's our Black Lives Matter on the street. Yeah. And, yeah, it's right here on the street. Oh, wow. And Peyton did one of these letters. He did this one right there that we're crossing oh. over. Yeah, this all wants to say. Oh, this used to be storefront shit. Yeah. So this, this was all businesses. Yeah, businesses. Turn yeah. right onto wow. Morgan Avenue North. Then the destination is on your left. Yeah, the well, next, and here's next the one. Yeah. this here's the cops who killed Jamar Clark. Uh, oh god. Yeah, this is yeah, the fourth precinct. Yeah, that's the fourth precinct. It didn't get burned to the ground, but there was an encampment out there protesting for m months after Jamar Clark got killed. Yeah. They didn't kill a bunch of people, ain't you know. In a quarter the first. mile, the destination is on your left. Oh, okay, guys. One one to Morgan Avenue North. Ten twelve. Which one of these? So it'll be on your side. Too. Yeah, you gotta go down for the. Oh, so this is where you first lived, huh? That's where I first lived, over here. And you see this dangerous as hell over here, too. We could. Marty's gonna make sure we get the full fill of it at night. Yeah, she just says, <laughs> just all some bullshit, y'all. I'm sorry. We should have brought Billy along. He's packing now, did you know? Yeah, yeah, I know he should be over there where the fuck he at. He should. Shit. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he's he's white and gay, too? Yeah, I know. Come on, man. He's white and gay. White and gay. Yeah, they'll, they'll really jack his ass. <laughs> he knows the destination it. destination is on your left. Okay. 101 to Morgan Avenue North. Was it a house? 10 to, it was an apartment back then. Now. Be right here. Arrived. 1012? 1012. Yeah. This is it? Yeah. This one? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So it was a house? You lived in the upstairs? It was lived on the second level. I thought it was an apartment back then, but you know, who knows? But spooky, like I said. Do you remember it? Did I don't it remember like it that? that much. No, I don't remember it, it looking like that. It wasn't this. No, that's 1010. So no, it, must have it been was that, that one. Yeah. Wherever it was, they might have, might have redid, redid that, Smokey. Yeah. You're talking about 40 years ago. I was picturing ago. it to be like a fourplex like You're this. talking about 40 damn, almost 50 years ago. <laughs> you know how many things have been over <laughs> here? Jelly Bean, that ain't it. Yeah, yeah you know, she <laughs> act like it's supposed to still be the same. Ain't none I'm of this shit the same. I'm just trying to jog your memory. Let's no. go find Terry and Drum's house. No. <laughs> Smokey, really? So when you were in here, you were still walking to school and all that. I was still right, walking right to school up, then. Right, right, up, right, right up there, up the, right up to, yeah, right up the street there. Jamal said, there's the school. Get your, yeah, get, get your, your ass up there. Yeah. So you would walk from that over yeah, here that to Yeah, that was quick. Yeah, it was quicker here. Oh, but when we moved okay. to Vincent, sure. it was a lot longer yeah. and raw. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. So this was This wasn't that bad, yeah. yeah. That's like seventh grade. That wasn't that bad, yeah. What is this building? Is this it a, church, was this it a, church has been here forever, Smokey. Yeah, it's been here forever. It looks like a mosque, though. It doesn't look like a... Yeah. Well, there you go, right there. It's, it's down. just an ambulance. Yeah, lie, don't let these quiet streets fool you. It'd be oh, lots look, of drama, look. especially in the summertime. Uh, I, I, I know. <clears throat> you know, Law, I ain't got to tell you. <laughs> I don't see for no name. Yeah, yeah. Detroit, Detroit got neighborhood. And if you was going to... They, let's get out of here. They house would have been back there. That's also highways back that way. So. Oh, wow. Uh oh. Okay, yeah, you heading way. back toward our house with this. Uh, no, I'll take Olsen and we'll cut up 100 so we can go eat. So Olsen's back that way. Olsen's right? back okay, that, I'll way. Go that way. Yeah. See, this is, I like this stuff because this stuff we haven't heard yet. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I didn't know about the Lincoln that, that you did three years there, I guess. Yeah, I didn't. seven through nine. And you said that Prince did go there. He went there briefly. briefly. He went there briefly, but he ended up going to Central. Yeah, like Marty said, you did, you did three years there. Like he just got out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you did three years. I did there. three years there. Well, I edited this thing. What? And you know, we used dead. to. Uh, me and Morris was in a band with this dude named Ronald Reinhardt, and one, his mom lived in one of these houses uh -huh. here. We used to rehearse in there. We were like what band 13. was that? Was that before? That was before time? everything. Yeah, really? it was for flight time. Yeah. What was that? Oh, David and Jellybean had a band called the. Wars, Wars of Armageddon. Armageddon. From Funkville, from Funkadilla. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wars of Armageddon. Yeah, that's wow. what the, our know. name was before, uh, before we came, became Flight Time. That was what we and guess where they performed? In their front yard. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Didn't you? Awesome. you see, I went there that's the other awesome. night with standing on the verge of getting it on. Oh, yeah, I heard you. I heard you. Didn't you? Didn't you perform in your yard or something? Uh, we, we Over at Vincent, we did when we were Flight Time. Yeah. Oh, I thought the Wars of Armageddon uh -uh. did it. We were Flight Time, though. Yeah. 
Okay, back to Olson this way. Yeah, you got to go up to Penn, Plymouth again. Uh, Penn, go up to Penn. Take a left and go up to Penn, and then we'll go down. Yeah, I'm coming through, so don't so, worry. So who is Enterprise? Enterprise Band of Pleasure, that's what's their name. Morris was the drummer. Uh, the dude, I forgot his name, that was the leader. He was the keyboard player. And uh, I can't remember. I know Sue Ann did a stint in that band for a while. I can't remember all who else was in that. But yeah. J Jelly Bean almost ended up in the band Champagne. Yeah, because yeah. Morris's uncle, was, that was his uncle in that band. So he was going to try, if, if he had ended up being the drummer for the time, he was going to try to get me to be Champagne's drummer. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. See, Morris did care about you. That's bullshit. Well, I want to know who's a better drummer, Jelly Bean or Morris. Well, Morris can, so Morris can do shit Nelson. I, I it, We both can do shit that other ones, each other this, can't. Is it this can't. direction mm -hmm. or that direction? You need to go back up there, Smokey. Mm -hmm. now his, their house was a block away from Olsen. So oh. now, I like how you put that. Olsen and what do you <laughs> think? <laughs> he knows how to answer that question, though. No, that, I mean, no yeah, that's, 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 that's true. That makes yeah. sense. Uh, Morris will tell you that. Morris will tell you that. Because they... From what I understood, and from of course my years of acquiring and hearing, the whole point is a lot of direction. I mean, of course now because everybody already knew, you know, with Jelly Bean stature and what he played. Mm -hmm. But when I started hearing about how bad Morris, Morris was, is on the drum, yeah, yeah, and every, he is. everybody who I've met that that was in the camp, they would always be like. And matter yeah. of fact, um, when Prince, the modern drummer, interviewed Prince, yeah, and Prince talked about said, him. yeah, you need to talk, y'all need to talk to Morris because he actually was. Guy, as much as they give me credit for my drumming, yeah, he's well, me, the guy. The three of us played alike, man. Really? We both, yeah. well, all the three of us played alike. Wow. Yeah. Same kind of style. That's yeah. awesome. Which was amazing in itself that yeah. it came out like that. So were they yeah, take a left here. Also? Yeah, take a left here. But that benefited because, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, whatever songs Prince gave you, it was already in your style. Yeah, it was already, yeah. Me and Morris, that was our style. So yeah. he go, and he drummed like that too. So Cause even now, when he, get up, when he got on the drums a few, a few shows and did Tricky, yeah, yeah. I was just like, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah. But he told me, I remember one time I asked myself, I said, do you, I said, how often do you still shed? He's like, I get it pretty in when I'm, I'm like, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this show, I saw the thing, I saw the clip, I was like, yeah, he, he does. Yeah, well, he got, you know, DW gave him whatever he wants. So he has a, you know, big drum set at home and shit, you know. But, you know, as it, you know, his son too. plays, too. His son plays now, too. Beast. Yeah, his son plays guitar and drums now, too, so. You know, and, and you know Morris is getting him the best teachers he can get, because right? he's got money. Well, I mean, I, I, I have to tell you the David Gabaldi story. That kind of with my granddad yeah. uh -huh. it makes so much sense. When I told Mars, uh, the first block you can turn right, that's where it was. He was like, what? He said, you're yep, right here. I said, yeah. yeah. Wow. Because I, that's when I realized just how much. This is what made me understand y'all yes. guys. So even, they were on eighth then too. Right? Yeah, they were on one of these houses here. So it made me understand y'all guys even more because when I started getting deeper into Tower of Power and, yeah. and all those different things, I'm like, now it makes a lot all of right, sense. All right, we can get out of here. Yeah, yeah, we was in one of these houses over here. That's so what it is. So Jerome and Terry lived over here. Yeah, in this neighborhood. Again, everybody was close to each other. Yeah, like, this yeah. This is close. Like, yeah. you talk about L.A., it's like, no, he was in the Valley. And oh, LA. yeah, L.A. Yeah. It ain't LA, going down like that yeah, in L.A., yeah. 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 I carried my drums in the Valley. No, no, you didn't. <laughs> she said no. No, you did. <laughs> said that you lying your ass off. No damn valley uh -huh. drum. Hell no. But still, that was a long. No, hike. that was a long walk. I, There's I, no way. I didn't, and I didn't know we did it two to three times. There's no way. Oh, so there. Okay, so was Olson Highway here when you guys were kids already? Yeah, Olson Highway. Oh, it had already been built. Yeah, it had already been built. It was here. See, look at we got caught up in this little trick bag here. Yeah, that's what happens. That's, that's what, what happens. Starts. See, yeah, look, see here, yeah. Smokey. <laughs> this is exactly see, you fucking around. <laughs> now I gotta go through the alleys. Now you gotta go through the fucking guys. alley and shit. Come on, man. You'll get us in some bullshit. Let's go. It's time to go. Hey, we're covering all grounds here. We got the east we're coast, right the west coast. We're right by Terry and, and Jerome's house. Think and about that. Right here. Yeah. But, but that's how Brooklyn is. You go to, you go to. Um, I grew up on St. Mark's is the biggest block. So I'm from, I'm between Kingston and Albany. Albany Projects is right there. And they're like, oh, where, where, where's Mars? You know, Jay Z, where's Marcy Projects? I said, that's a whole nother 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go cross, go to Bed Stuy, you go there. So, yeah. breathe what we're fabulous is from. That's mm -hmm. that's so you can turn this away from us. Yeah. That's why, I, that's why I can relate to all this. I'm like, you can literally, literally walk to all of my friends' houses because everybody in the neighborhood. Yeah. And you go down there, you, you know, take, yeah. you know, and I lived, on yeah. and I, lived, I lived on both sides of the block. So, and yeah. and because our family was very notorious, like our building, to this to this very day, the most popular building is our building, 959. Wow. As soon as you say that, like, and it, they and it, know. And it's only one person, 959, 900 block. That's what they call it now. So, interestingly enough, 
funny thing is that that block Vernon Reed lived in 936. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. wow. When I, when I told her, he's like, what part of Brooklyn are you from? I said, I'm from St. Mike. He said, yo, Lord, you're not going to believe this, bro. I, I grew up in 9 because that's where he was raised, where, his grand, where he lived with his grandmother, but he was born in Bay Shore. Yeah. So but. this Olson Highway mm -hmm. is the kind of the south border of the north side. Oh, okay. And then the they Highway 100 um, over here, and then they put in 94, the freeway, you know how we, I was saying how they always, they, they put the three freeways through the black neighborhoods and knock everything out. Yeah. So what Andrea was saying in her book was the Olson Highway, this border, and then you had 94, it kind of created this little island that they lived, that the black community lived on. So the black people were all in that little particular area. And then after 68, when they had the rioting in 68, the, a lot of the Jewish people who had been living on that north side, they all started moving out to yeah, the west, yeah. to Golden Valley, to St. Louis Park. Those suburbs, they moved that direction and they got the hell out of there. So that was the white flight out of there. But she said because they bordered the north community with these freeways, it basically, black people were an island unto themselves in Minneapolis. Really? And then they weren't allowed, the bands weren't allowed to play downtown. No. They were, you guys weren't really allowed to play anywhere on the south side, were you? Is no, that the Macarama? Sonny T told me that. No. Except, except maybe like the Macarama, right? Yeah, Macarama was the only place over south we could play. Yeah, so the only places they could play were parties at North Commons Park or their own little... They couldn't play anywhere. Jeez. Sonny T told me that for sure. Yeah. He, was, he told that to me. Yeah. That, the, the, the prejudice and just the, the allowance of not letting any of the black bands play in this particular area. And, and then they were blocked into this community by freeways, you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it was, and she, she compared it to that they, they were basically on an island. Yeah, a, it was like it was done on the, purpose. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, amongst themselves. Yeah. And that way, that whole area becomes crime ridden, you de property is devalued. I mean, you just keep it all in that little pocket. Yeah. And they don't, they don't care about that area, you know? They always said, you know, about the north side, um, you know, we need more leaders on the north side. And I'll never forget Keith Ellison, who was, well, he was our first, he was the first Muslim congressman to D.C., I mean, to Washington. He was my congressperson, and now he's Minnesota's attorney general. And Keith Ellison said, we don't need no more leaders on the north side. We have leaders. We need economic development. Yeah. That's what it's about. It's about economics. We need businesses to come in and move into this community. And it's still, really, to this day, you guys, it still never really happened. No. That's great. They haven't really, really built up the north side. No. It has to remain like that. Yeah. 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 Well, and Keith Ellison grew up over there. I mean, 